And now switching gears a bit, we take a look at the story of a young girl fighting for her life in ICU. That's right. She's touched the hearts of many in our community and recently was granted a very special wish. Eight-year-old Dora Grace Ada Camacho has been hospitalized since May after being stricken with a spinal infection that caused her to be paralyzed from the neck down. But when the Make-A-Wish Foundation for Guam and the CNMI visited the child two months ago to offer her a wish, what she asked for was a celebration. She has difficulty speaking but mouthed the words and made her desires known. Make-A-Wish board member Angela Santos recalls the interview. She just said, I want a Cinderella party, and I want uh, party hats, and I want to wear a dress, and a crown, and I want cake, and pizza, and vegetables. And her mom told her, you know, you can't eat any of that. But she said, but I want it. Over the weekend, Make-A-Wish staff and volunteers descended on Dora's room to grant that wish. She was showered with gifts from a Cinderella dress with real glass slippers to Cinderella sheets and pillows, a rainbow maker for her room, and a portable DVD player with the latest re-release of Disney's Cinderella classic. She was even serenaded. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dream that you A party was also hosted in Dora's honor at the Hyatt Regency down the street with all the family and close friends she invited and the food she requested. The Marianas High School production team assisted in filming the event and gathering testimonials. A DVD of the event was later presented to Dora so she could watch it any time. Her mother, Jennifer Adda. It means a lot to me. It, for the first time I would see my daughter smile that long. Make-A-Wish Executive Director Victor Camacho says one of the foundation's goals is to give children suffering from serious illness a chance to feel special. And he's been impressed by the generosity and support he's seen from around the community in making that happen for Dora. Regardless of economy, regardless of you know, how people are um, suffering you know, financially, the hearts are open and people are going to give. That's, that's what uh, I find most wonderful about Dora and this wish is it's brought an entire community together. What a, what a great story, Tina. That was very touching. Oh, I think most of us were in tears and yeah. smiling. Yeah. Uh, you know, she, she is a very special girl. Yeah. And there's actually a, a fundraiser um, for her medical transport coming up. It's a Dance for Dora event coming up on the 20th. We'll have a little bit more on that, mm -hmm. I think, later this week. Um, all right, coming up in sports, a basketball showdown folks won't want to miss. Yeah, that's sports coming up next. Stay with us.